because I came in late yes. and I must have missed uh, the beginning part of uh, this discussion. Uh, particularly, I missed the uh, Mr. Harvey's uh, presentation. Uh, so I'm going to base my comments on what I have heard now, the, the discussion that has transpired, at least for the short time I have sat here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chair, let me also say for, you know, for us to reach the level of that bill, we had in, uh, uh, engaged a lot of stakeholders, including um, the KQ management, including Kenya Airways, including the staff, the pilots, the other, um, uh, you know, the uh, representation of the other aerodromes, um, and other Kenyans at large. Uh, at that particular time, I don't know where the LSK uh, was that they missed out in all that discussion. Uh, but because they feel they have some special place that, that they must be given their own time, which we have, uh, and, and, and we have, we were very interested in this, that is why we, we have availed ourselves here. Mm. Chair, I, I was also very interested to know uh, whether, uh, you know, because some professions, and we don't blame them, are used to poking holes in everything. You know, uh, unfortunately, in other professions, uh, including ours, you learn to nurture, you learn to develop, you learn to be patient, you learn to look for solutions. You, you, you do not just, uh, we are not always on the avenue of destruction, of destroying what is for the public good. Uh, and Chair, I, I, I get a feeling that most of what is coming out uh, is not to save KQ. And I think it is in our interest, in the interest of the public of Kenya, to save KQ. Uh, Chair, when you think of small countries like Rwanda, that has Rwanda Air, Uganda, uh, Precision Air, Ethiopia, Ethiopian Airlines, and then you think of a state like Kenya that prides itself in uh, being a leader in the region, and uh, we let uh, the pride of Africa go down, I think, Chair, I'm sure, even you will not be, will not want to be part of a group that will let King Kim die. And, and so I think it is in our, in the interest of all of us, in the interest of the public, that uh, we look for solutions to save King Kim. And so when we are told that um, we are not going to save an old man, of 70 years uh, with the heart of his small son or daughter who is 70 years, uh, I was very interested to know the small daughter and the small son that the LSK has presented here today. You know, uh, it would have been of interest for us to know this small son and this small daughter. But, Chair, for me to conclude, because initially I had no intention of speaking. Uh, maybe because of my own biases, and um, it, you know, because uh, Chair, uh, today is the first time I'm sitting across Mr. Harvey. He could be the president of LSK, but because some of us are not members of LSK, we do not recognize his presidency at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and so let me just uh, say, Mr. Mr. Harvey. You know, when you sit in a position of responsibility yeah. that has been, um, please allow me to take my time. It's what I think, it's not even asking for the one. When, 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 when you are holding a position of responsibility, Chair, then you also need to graduate from some level. Uh, you graduate from activism to then be a lookalike of some president of some kind. You don't have to continue with, with your activism throughout uh, chair because uh, I today I, 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 you know I was very interested to see uh, Mr. Harvey coming to address members of parliament a house that he has said already is not supposed to be 
um, uh, you know, in place at all. And I will, uh, to close my submission, Chair, I would invite Mr. Harvey to come, should Parliament get dissolved, please come and contest in Kajiado, his constituency, where I represent the people. Because we represent the people. We are elected. You are only elected by a small group of people, but we are elected by the majority, actually by all Kenyans. For us to have this happen, we are elected. Who elected you, Mr. Harvey, to represent Wajiko? Because we are elected to represent Wajiko. Thank you. Well, uh, finally, Vice Chair, then I give directions and we we'll close. I'm seeing the direction we are taking now. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Chair. First of all, I want to render my apologies for coming late as the Vice Chair. I had a funeral service in my county, in the interior of Kiambu, and I had to attend to the people that elected me to represent them when there is joy and when there is grief, and therefore I had to go. I do not want to talk much because I think my sister and my colleague, Honorable Paris Tobiko, has aired my concerns. I feel that I should not actually engage, and I think I shared this sentiment uh, earlier on with a few members, when I heard that the uh, Law Society of Kenya would want to come and present their views, and they want to be heard by honorable members of parliament elected by Kenyans from the grassroots level. I have taken an offense with a comment that has come from the so-called president of the Law Society of Kenya. I, yes, I right. have order. taken an offense because I feel... Honourable Chair, if, I think if, if, I'm addressing the Chair. If, if I may just intervene, eh? Uh, yeah, Honourable Chair. I, I, would really, I would really be... Because Chair, you are allowing the Honourable Members to, be, to, to berate me, no, honor, yet, yet that's not an issue that yeah, is before honor, the committee. Honourable uh, 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 President, I'm going to escape. Uh, this is how... Yes, you go to the subject, but uh, we, I, will, I will seek for indulgence and, and patience. This is how Parliament works. Uh, you know, when somebody's on the floor, you will have also your time. Okay, so long okay. as they are within parliamentary language. And if they are not parliamentary language, somebody will raise for the border and will take it over. Okay. But in terms of patience, yes, we exercise patience. This is house of the truth. You have to bring up your heart so that the truth comes out. That's where the problem of the house, house of democracy. Honorable, uh, I'm sure. Thank you, Chair, for protecting me and I'm humbled. I was ex executing a point that uh, I personally feel as a member of this committee, we should not be seen to be treated the Law Society of Kenya with a speciality that we did not give to the other people who came earlier to present their views as stakeholders of the industry in this county hall two, three weeks ago. However, because they have insisted that they want to be treated specially and therefore they have to come and fill the spaces like they are filled today, I'm obliged to come and to sit and listen. But inside me, I still feel that the Law Society of Kenya, headed by their president, have a lot, have held a lot of content, uh, content with members of parliament. This is through the public utterances that we have been consuming. Just last week, we saw what was alleged to have said by the president of the Royal Society of Kenya, referring to a discussion. I think uh, whatever we're discussing is going to so what answer. answer. What's and on my concern is we are on issues of public participation on this bill. Yes. Despite our disagreement with uh, Nelson Hardy on other issues, can we concentrate on the subject 
Okay. Maybe she was keeping it point under the And I allow everybody freedom to speak. You may not like what they're saying, so long as they're within parliamentary countries. Please, Officer you know you are a democrat. So, Honorable Njema, proceed. Thank you for protecting me once again. It's unfortunate that uh, this point, this point I'm trying to execute, is not is not uh, 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 within the line of what maybe was expected from here. But it is important for us to say it so that next time when we have people who are coming to execute and present as stakeholders in, in the in the committee, then we are able to balance and make sure that we treat everybody equally. There is no way you can go in public as a leader of an association like Law Society of Kenya or an organization and say that you cannot have a, a debate with a member of parliament on a public television, on a national television, just because you feel you are the president and the panelist who is a member of parliament knows nothing about what is supposed to be discussed. If that stat statement was not from the president of the Law Society of Kenya, now that he's here, he need to tell us. Because if he cannot hold a discussion uh, on a panel of a national television with a member of parliament like Honorable Gadoni Wangushoma, a woman rep who is elected by almost a million Kenyans, a woman who represents 12 constituencies, a woman who represents nine, over 980,000 Kenyans. If a president of an association, which is represented here, cannot have a viable debate with me on a national television, then even submission here does not make sense. I should not sit here to discuss with him if he feels that I'm so daft, I'm so illiterate, I'm so downtrodden, I'm so, so, so thick that I cannot understand the language of lawyers. And therefore, I wanted to put it on record. Okay. We must treat okay. each other with respect. Okay. Respect members of parliament. You may not like the way I talk, the way I dress, but you must respect that the great people of Kiambu County, the 988,000 people, gave Honra Guangushomba the seat, the, the votes, to make her their representative. However, I look, I'm sorry, but you have to give me my space. And also, you have to give space to the women leaders of Kenya. If you do not carry women with dignity, women of parliament are political leaders, and they deserve dignity and respect. Okay. That I must put on record. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Fair enough. Now, let's come back to... Uh, yeah. Thank you. May I once more thank you most sincerely, Chair of this committee and uh, honorable members uh, of this committee. As learned friends, we always realize that uh, we will agree to disagree. And when we agree to disagree, we do it honorably. Excellent. That is what we learned friends are known for. But uh, we treasure the work you do on behalf uh, of the people of Kenya. Always be mindful of the fact that even when we give you criticism, Mm -hmm. We just mean good, the same way you mean good when you voice your criticism. And uh, I want to extend a warm welcome to Honorable Tobiko and to Honorable Omshomba, who will come and defend you when you need legal services. <laughs> that one you cannot do for yourself as legislators. Thank you so much. God bless you. Good. Uh, no, let me not mix. Let me just remain within my party as chair. They are coming to you, then they are past the bad place. <laughs> you are in the bad place now, you know. But anyway, so 